Hey everyone, it's Helper Joel here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Discord server verification system using Zerobot. The first thing that you're going to do is go to the server where you want to create the verification system. And our first step is to add Zerobot to our server. So I'm going to go to the top left and click on the server name. I'm going to go down on this drop down menu and select the app directory option. And in the search bar here, I'm going to search for Zira, just like this. And as you can see, the first one that comes up is Zerobot. I'm just going to select this. Go to the right and select the blue add app option. And that's going to open this up in my browser here. You may need to sign into your Discord, but I'm already signed in. And from here, it gives me the option to add Zerobot to my server. So I just got to select the server that I want to add it to. Click continue, authorize all of these, confirm that I'm a human, and now it's added it to our server. After I've done that, I can now go back to my Discord, and I can exit out of the settings here, back to my server. And now the first thing that I'm going to do after that is I'm going to create a new text channel and I'm going to call it verification. I'm just going to create this channel. After I've created the verification channel, I'm going to click on the edit channel icon right on the side of it here. And then from here, I'm going to go to permissions. And if I scroll down here underneath of the advanced permissions here, I'm going to select the at everyone rule and I'm going to turn off all of the permissions for this channel for at everyone. After I've done that, there is two permissions that I need to make sure I have turned on. The first one is the read message history. I'm going to click the check mark for that one. And the second one is the view channel. I'm going to check that one as well. So after I've turned on the view channel and the read message history, but turned all the other ones off, I'm going to hit save changes. And after that, where it says role slash members, I'm going to hit this plus icon and I'm going to select Zira. And for Zira, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm just going to check all of these on so that it has full permissions in this channel. And save changes. So now Zira has all the permissions, but at everyone only has those two. After I've done that, I can now exit out of this channel settings. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go to the top left and click on the server name. And on this drop down menu here, I'm going to go and select server settings. Once I'm in the server settings on the left here, there's the roles option. I'm going to select roles. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go to the at everyone roles. So from this screen, select the at everyone. And for the permissions, I'm going to clear all of the permissions for at everyone. And I'm going to save my changes. After that, I'm going to create a new role you can call this role whatever you'd like. I'm going to name it verified. This is going to be the role that you get after you've verified your account. I can change the name. Give it a color if I'd like. Then I'm going to go to permissions. So then from here, I'm going to go through the permissions and select the ones that make sense for my server. So for now, I'll just select some of the basic ones, but feel free to go through this on your own time and select the ones that make sense for your server. 
After that, make sure you hit the Save Changes option. After you've done that, there's one more thing that you need to do here, and that is make sure that the zero role is dragged above all the other roles in your server. This way the bot is able to give people the roles after they react. So after that, make sure it's all saved, and we can exit out of this. From here, we're going to go to our new verification channel, and we're going to go to the message bar down here. And the first thing that we're going to do is type slash channel, and then hit a space. And in this box here, it's going to give us the option to select the channel. We're going to select the verification channel. And then we're going to send this message. Just like that. Now we're going to do another command. We're going to do slash message space send like this and hit space again. And in the box here where it says content, this is where we're going to put in the message that is going to be above our reaction for the role. So what I'm going to put is react to verify. And after that, I can send that message. As you can see, ZeroBot's now going to say react to verify here. Then the last thing I need to do here is do slash add and then space and this one here is going to be the type of reaction rule that we wanted to use so there's a few options here I'm just going to select normal after that in this box here we're going to put the emoji that we want to react to for the rule I'm just going to use the check mark here and then after that in this box here we're just going to select the role that we want to get after we verify. So I'm obviously going to select the verified role. After that, I'm going to send this message. And after I've done that, as you can see here, it's added this reaction here. So after this, I can delete all of these extra messages. Now we're just left with the react to verify message with this reaction underneath. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite one of my other accounts so I can test it out. So I just joined the server on my other account. And as you can see, I'm in the only channel I have access to here is the verification channel. And I'm not able to send any messages in here either. But once I hit this check mark here, as you can see, it now adds the verified role to my profile and it gives me access to this other channel as well. I hope that this video helped you guys out. Please remember to like and subscribe.